Greetings, and I, in this screencast, I'm going to give you a super quick overview of the quality assurance tools as they're integrated into Maven using our sample project. So here you can see on the screen we're at the Robocode PMJ to Cruiser project at GitHub, and the main thing that you have to do first is check to see what branch you're on. So if you're on the master branch, you um, are not in the correct branch. This is just the basic one that shows you how to run Robocode. I've created a branch called Quality Assurance, which you can get to by pulling down this menu. And if you're in the Quality Assurance branch, one of the things you'll notice is that there's more documentation. There's a new section at the end of the README about Quality Assurance. Okay, And then you can see that the URL is a little different as well. So um, in order to do this, you got to download. And once you're here, what you can basically do is click the zip and you'll download the source files for this quality assurance branch which is what I want you to do okay so that's how you get it and while you're here um, you'll also want to look at this this section called quality assurance which explains a little bit about what the maven um, has been extended to provide basically four things check style PMD find bugs and Jococo um, Jococo is actually a code coverage tool, so I'm going to come back to that when we get to the testing, um, to the testing module. But it is a quality assurance tool, and I didn't feel like creating a separate branch just for it. So it's you're going to get it for free at this point in time, even though you won't, we won't really be talking about it too much. Okay, so the check style tool you can invoke very simply just doing Maven check style colon check. You can see the output from that. We have some. Um, we have a custom set of rules for check style, which you can see by clicking on this link, which basically tries to get at um, the kinds of coding standards that we are following in this class. And then you can see in this case, because there are no errors, um, we get uh, build success. If there had been a check style error in our sample Robocode PMD, PMJ to Cruiser project, then we would have seen the build to fail. PMD is um, likewise invoked by this maven pmd colon check and um, there are some rules that we've established for pmd again trying to get at the basic coding standards for the class you can see them here um, and again there are no pmd errors in the code as i as you download it from github so we're going to have success here finally pmd excuse me find bugs is implemented and you can see we invoke this check um, target to see that and we just basically use the default find bugs um, rules and it works fine then you can also if you want to see the code coverage of the system basically that involves running the tests with this instrumentation applied to see what the coverage is which means that we have to supply this system property in order to make the test work right and then we use this verify target the verify target in addition to running Jococo, also runs any other quality assurance tools that we've implemented. So in fact, what's kind of cool about the verify target is that it's going to not only run Jococo, but it also runs check style and PMD as well. So everything and find bugs. So they all get run in the case of verify. So that's kind of your one stop um, shopping kind of thing. Run verify and if your tests don't all pass, the build will fail. If code coverage at the class and method level isn't 100%, the build will fail. If PMD finds anything, the build will fail. And if um, check style finds anything, the build will fail and find bugs. Well, you know, all those things, right? They're all going to, they're all, they all fail you if, if there's any problem. So this is the, the simplest way to make sure everything's running. But, you know, in most, in many cases, you might want to just run one of them. If you're working on a particular find bugs area, you don't want to have to go through all the rigmarole of running all the test cases and so you can um, run these other tools independently okay so that's so you can always look at this to kind of see what's going on um, but what I wanted to do now is um, kind of invoke them I guess just for grins you've, you've kind of already seen them but you can do you know after you've downloaded the the system you can say maven check style and you should check and just check to make sure that what's documented there in the README actually works for you. Okay, so I think it's worth it to take a couple seconds to um, look through the system. So if I bring up um, the POM file right here, 
Okay, it's worth kind of looking through it a little bit, just because you should get familiar with reading palm files anyway. Um, and um, and they're not that hard to read, even though there's a lot of XML in there. So here we have our dependencies. That hasn't changed from the, the first version of the build file. What has changed is that now we have all these plugins in the build element. Okay, the first one um, I think was there before. That was the Maven compiler plugin, just saying that we want to use 1.7. This was again there before for Robico.home. Clean, that was there before. Now we get to the stuff that we've added. So here's the plugin code that adds check style. And we're basically saying that um, the check is going to occur during process sources. Here's the configuration location. If there are errors, we're going to out them, output them to the console. We're going to test our testing sources. We're, we're going to check our test sources as well as our regular code sources. And we'll fail the build if there's any check style errors. So very straightforward. Find bugs, pretty straightforward as well. Um, during the verify stage, we're going to check it. Um, and that's all really, really have to say for that. PMD, um, we specify during the check phase of verify. Um, we want to include the tests. We're going to check the testing code for PMD errors. We're going to output stuff to the console if we see anything problem. We can use this rule set. And you know the target JDK is 1.6. And then Jococo, um, I'll get to that later. But basically, this is the plugin to do code coverage. And then you've got this stupid stuff you got to include because it turns out that when we use Eclipse with this Maven file, it gets confused by some of this stuff. So it turns out you have to add this in. You can kind of ignore it. It's kind of irritating. And then there's another irritation that you get this warning when you run PMD unless you include this plugin. So I just included it to get rid of the, the stuff. Okay, so that's that. And um, I think what might be fun is to actually show you what happens when things go wrong. So I've included some commented out code in this system to generate some errors. Okay, so one thing that PMD doesn't like is when you say you use the new string um, as opposed to the interred string. So what you really should have here is just equals quote bar quote. Okay, but we create a new string. So if we save this out and then we go to uh, here and we run PMD. Let's see what happens. Maven PMD colon check. Okay, so what you'll find this time is first of all that the build fails, and secondly that you get this line of output here that says avoid instantiating string objects. This is usually unnecessary, um, and um, uh, you, oh, and there's the line, right? I was looking for that. So on this, in this file, PMJ Deck to Cruiser at line 16, <coughs> we found this problem. OK. So that's an example of a, whoops, darn it. Um, that's an example of a PMD error. So if we make that go away, now there's another, well, actually, let's keep this here, I think, because I'm going to use it later. Um, so then I have this other code down here which produces fine bugs error, a fine bugs error. Um, okay, and the reason why, well, so this, th what this does is it's some code that invokes system.exit, and that's something that fine bugs doesn't like. Okay, so I'm going to put this, uh, save this code out, and then go to here and say P, uh, maven find bugs colon check. So this will have us run find bugs. Okay. And then we see um, that PMJ to cruiser, so uh, no operation invokes system by the exit, which is a bad thing. Okay. And then it actually turns out that. Fine bugs also doesn't like the use of our um, new string constructor, so it flags that as well. Okay, and then because errors were found, we failed the build. All right, so let me go ahead and um, I guess that's all I want to tell you about. I'm not going to talk about code coverage during this, um, but as you can see, 
these tools are very effective at finding things. Oh, I guess the one other thing that you'll want to see is what happens with check style, right? We haven't invoked check style, and this is kind of an interesting case. Um, if we go back to normal mode, and we say, for example, let's put check, put, um, well, shoot, that's not, yeah, okay. So here we've just put um, the left curly brace on the wrong line, and what you can actually see is that because of the way Maven's check style plugin integrates with Eclipse, you're actually getting an error now, and so you can't even compile your system or you know run your system from an Eclipse um, with this check style violation. So I think this is this is a, a feature, not a bug. It means that you're going to have to just write your code in a check style compliant way from the get go, um, and that seems like a good idea. So um, it's hard for me to. I mean, I can produce a check style error, I guess. Oops. So I'll put it here. I'll write it out, and then um, we can go to the command line and we can say maven check style colon check. Okay, and we can see, um, in fact, here's the. Um, you know the violation, so we actually are getting it from the command line. But I guess my point is, is that I don't really think, in general, you're ever going to get that at the command line because if you're using Eclipse, you're going to find and solve these errors um, as you write the code, which is, you know, generally the most efficient place to do it anyway. Okay, so with that, um, download this sample version and go on to the Make It Break challenge, which I think you'll find is pretty fun and give you gives gives you an opportunity to learn more about the use of automated quality assurance.